This is Twit. Ad fraud. This is wow. This is becoming a weekly thing where we talk about ad fraud. I should be do. Th- I should be doing this. What am I doing? Like do you- I'm. I should be making money off of this. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. you meant reading Whoa. this story. No, I, like, I mean I should be making, making money, money if this, it's this easy. Wait a minute. <laughs> what am I doing? I working for a too- living. I don't want to wake up to a clickbaity expose headline from BuzzFeed about a, all of that Android host uh, profiting <laughs> from, from ad fraud. Like, that's a- We've been investigating for the last year. We've discovered we that Florence Ion, host of all that Android. Her answer, I live in California. <laughs> you do what you got to do <laughs> you when do you live what in you California. Do. Anyway. Ad fraud in the Play Store. Rearing its ugly head once again, this time involving 2 billion downloads wow. of eight apps that you've no doubt heard of some of these before. Cheetah Mobile, which, by the way, is the fourth yeah. largest publisher uh, in the Play Store, as well as the Apple App Store, after such you know startups as Google, Facebook, and Apple itself, uh, is responsible for seven of the apps alone that BuzzFeed had investigated here. Clean Master. Yeah. Like at some point in our lives, we've all installed Clean Master at, well, for at a one while, point, I've right? Never the Cheeto Mobile Clean apps I've never installed, installed any of these. Samsung phones. Well, exactly, yeah. pre-installed on Samsung phones. Samsung has a deal with uh, uh, with Clean Master for a part of it. Does does that still exist, or that was? Uh, they have kind of their own deal. It's like a whitelisted version of it. Yeah, uh, that is that is part of it now. So it's not technically Cheetah Mobile's okay. property, but I think it's their IP powering it. Okay. All right. Well, Clean Master, Security Master, CM Launcher 3D, key, uh, is it Kika, Kika, Keyboard, Battery Doctor, CM Locker, a whole, you know, a couple more. Uh, Kika is is the eighth uh, with the Kika keyboard. 60 million monthly active users on that alone. Mm. Battery Doctor and CM Locker have been removed from the Play Store. So those two are now removed. Uh, I, I don't know. The machinations of why those two were removed, others were were kept in, whatever. But I know that Google has removed a article that it posted in 2017 on Cheetah Mobile's improvements to its user ad experience wow. and performance. Wow. So that happened today. Wow. Google's like, oh, we're not going to have that up anymore. That's a bad idea. But uh, this, this but the internet never forgets. <laughs> doesn't look good in this case. The apps, uh, the the bad activity that was happening here is that the apps were tracking other apps that users who had installed these were installing onto their phones. And what that allowed them to do is to take credit, basically claim the bounty for referring Mm -hmm. the user of that app to this other app that they installed. Whether they actually pointed that user towards that app or not, they were able to intercept that and claim the bounty, from my understanding. Yeah, that's basically what was happening in being able to kind of, you know, forge that tracking cookie when it comes to to certain kinds of apps being installed. And a lot of it ends up being, uh, you know, just kind of like simple one-off games that people would install just to try out for the first time or, or you know, things that would come through the the Chrome instant uh, app store. You know, as soon as it, as soon as the install process happens there, it was able to kind of hijack that. Hmm. And when you're talking about, uh, you know, an app like Clean Master, just as one example, that's, that's like the that's the creme de la creme, like pinnacle of most installed apps that we're talking yeah. about here. And there we're talking like, what is it, a, it in the billions of installs? Yeah, it's a tremendous number. And, and a lot of it has to do with the, you know, the kind of verification, the validation that, that Clean Master and, and Cheetah Mobile was given by being, you know, installed on by default on so many of these kind of high end phones. And when they move to another phone, you know, your Android prompts you to say, hey, it's download this stuff that you've used before. So mm-hmm. even even people who weren't really thinking about it by moving to another phone, they can just re-grab all of that stuff. And, and you know, so a lot of people have had it for years and may not even know it by name, just, you know, the thing that helps my phone go faster. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That thing that I installed a long time ago because I thought it made my phone go faster. I don't need it. Right. Well, that that whole category of utility of apps of like, we will supercharge your phone. We'll give you better battery. We'll clean the junk away. It's an old way of thinking about computers that has stayed with the smartphone way of it's I people mean, who grew up with Windows exactly. XP. And they're yeah. like, I need, yeah. I need more hey, RAM. I was there too. Yeah, I right. was also yeah. dismissing all the apps and all of that in the beginning. And then I saw the light. <laughs> and I saw that this is not the way we're supposed to use phones. Phones are not supposed to require that much maintenance. And that's why I'm on a Chromebook now. <laughs> but, I mean, there's a little bit of education around around that, right? Like, uh, that that is required. I know I fell for it at some point along the way. Like, mind you, this show has been around a very long time. Oh yeah. And we, you know, 
Android has gone through a lot of evolving over that time. But there was a time before where we are now, where right now Google does, you know, has created Android to really manage a lot of this stuff in the background mm -hmm. anyways. And so apps like Clean Master just have less reason to be there because Android at its core yeah. already does this in an automatic Absolutely. sense. Which is the there point. was a time where that wasn't known if, if it was happening, that wasn't as you know, as, as obvious to a user. So people would install these and they wouldn't know any better. And like you said, with every new device, hey, there it is again, whether just they're using it or not, it just gets automatically redownloaded. You can walk into carrier stores right now and these these are the apps that get recommended by people who sell you. people yeah. phones. You know, well, if you're setting up your phone, make sure you install this thing. Oh, It'll you're having your problems? Well, ma'am, here you go. Make like sure you have my mom. Just download, there, Yeah, That's just right. download this app on your Samsung phone. It's fine. <laughs> and then I yell at my mother, what are you doing? Always call me first. Okay, so... Um, Okay, there's five of us. There's there's the Ugh. four of us here, and there's Victor. It's time to raise our hands if you've ever installed Clean Master on a phone in in your lifetime. Wait, 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 Be wait, honest. wait, wait, wait. Be honest. Wait a second. Am I the, literally because, the only person that's ever done that? Because I have reviewed phones with it already installed, uh, okay. so it's now added to my account. And so when I've like mm. done backup, it's been you know. Yeah. All right, so the the way to test this is by going into the Google Play Store. <laughs> because, well, obviously, oh. I downloaded everything no, with either, my account. Either you have either you have the install like it's it's the, the you can tell if you've installed an app or not. It's either install or it shows installed something different. Like what is what is it? What yeah, does it say? which, which say of the fourteen thousand phones? Yeah, restore backup. Uh -huh. yeah, so I don't so have it go, install. It goes, it goes no from it goes master. from installed. If you've installed the app, the button says installed. Oh, I have installed it. Have, what does it say? Does it say install? It says install. It says okay, install. so you've never installed it. There you go. That's the one. That's the one. All right, so I'm gonna go. There. I have. Uh, I have never installed it. It says install for me. Dang, I have. Ooh, oh, I totally have. You have installed. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Vic not in a long Vic time, but I have. Vic Victor. 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 <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Mine says install also. Oh All man. Right. Okay. Well, then I'm the I'm Wrong. the only wow, person. Oh, Jason. I'm wow. the. I am the twenty percent, <laughs> at least in this I example. I might have installed CM File Manager though. Okay. I'm gonna check that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love a good file manager. I know. This is what we need. We need to create a website that you can See, go to that just has CM, all these apps right. and whether you've ever installed it in the past. Well, it's so also, you, know. you got to keep in mind, there was also a period of time where all of these things, Cheetah Mobile would name everything CM something, and mm -hmm. that was during a period of time where Cyanogen Mod was yeah. really popular in the oh, Android community. Yep. Yep. So it was really point. easy for people to look things up and be like, oh, these guys, like I had that conversation with people, you know, oh, the, the yeah. Cyanogen Mod made it a file manager. I'm like, no, like, that's nope. not, no. not what that means. Not the same. Not the same. Uh, Ron, C uh, in the back C of the classroom, yes. C CM file manager, I installed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. All Guilty. Right. See, no, we're all we're all susceptible to this. Well, I think I mentioned Kika is, is, in a keyboard roundup like many years ago. So. Yeah. Um, my, what I'm checking now is did any of them make him into the arena? That's what I'm checking <laughs> to do. That's because somebody, uh, cousin of John, in the chat room is saying battery doctor. <laughs> Uh, but I don't see that in our in our uh, arena search tool. I don't see search CM clean. locker. What comes up when you type in clean? clean? Nothing starting with CM is in it. Clean. Thankfully, Clean Master was never taken to the Ooh. arena. This great Ooh. new app that I found. Yeah. Okay. All uh, right. No, I don't think any of these are in the arena. All right. Excellent. Well, that's good. I feel really bad if, if any of those ended up in the arena. Um, I still well, kind of feel bad because I'm the only person here who ever installed well Clean you have Master. to try this stuff out you have oh. to know what's bad yeah. and what's thank good thank you thank you so the, thank you. my whole takeaway from this is that this is now two stories in a row mm -hmm. and i believe last week when we talked about the other story yeah. about the other the fraudulent one which is the, the police rushing the uh the russian police arresting the hacker or the scammer um i believe after that story we said i bet you there's hundreds more of stories just like this totally and a week later Here's another one. Yeah. Should we now start the counting is, them? <laughs> the question like is, do we, need, do we need a sign that says it has been X number of days since Android apps were, were found to be malicious? Because yeah, since this an is ad not a fraud stretch. story. Yeah. It's been yeah. however many days since a BuzzFeed ad fraud story. Perhaps all about we should ad just all, all about them. ad fraud. <laughs> <laughs> That'll just, yeah, we'll, we'll need a drop for it and everything.
Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's that's a pretty interesting story. I mean, Cheetah Mobile's publicly traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Well, by the way, I did not know that. I'm, I'm actually a little sad to hear that. Yeah, don't be sad.